bioglass, resorbable stitches, and bone cement. If these are the kinds of topics you'll pause your scroll for, then you might make a great biomaterials engineer. Biomaterials engineering is the field that focuses on design, discovery, and testing of material suitability for use in biomedical applications. Biomaterials engineering is extremely niche, but that doesn't make it a bad choice of college major. In the engineering hierarchy, it's like if bioengineering and materials engineering had a baby, which is worth mentioning because the kinds of roles that will hire a biomaterials engineering grad will happily hire any of the above in a pinch. That said, no one will match you for foundational expertise in materials science tailored for use in the human body. But is there a future? You better believe it. With aging populations growing larger every year, this industry has growing needs for specialists in areas like orthopedic implants, drug delivery, and tissue scaffolds. In fact, AI is creating more and more work for materials engineers of all kinds, and biomaterials will certainly benefit. As a biomaterials engineer, you won't be designing and manufacturing devices. Instead, you'll work on teams to collaborate with chemists, mechanical engineers, and doctors to optimize the materials that biomedical devices are made with, highlighting the interface between man-made objects and human blood and tissue. If you aren't fascinated by chemistry and microstructures, then this isn't the field for you. On the other hand, if you're still sure biomaterials is where your fascination lies, you may want to consider an undergraduate degree in material science engineering and going for a master's or concentration in biomaterials. That way you can forge a great path ahead. Bottom line, if you pick biomaterials, you've got to be prepared to work hard, pursue passion projects, and be nimble in the job hunt to get into your dream roles. But those roles will be pretty damn cool. So are you considering biomaterials engineering? Let me know what topic I should deep dive next in the comments and follow Future Chemie for engineering info daily.